Got a bit of a different thought for you this morning. Something, I don't know how, sometimes just things jump out at you. Uh, but are you tough enough for God? Have you ever thought about that? Are you tough enough for God? When I was reading Exodus chapter 13, all of a sudden it occurred to me, let me read the uh, verse 17, And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near, for God said, Lest peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. So when I read that, I, I know I probably heard somebody preach on it. You know how that is. You, I, I'm sure I've, I've read, I heard people preach on it many times, and I know I've read it many, many times. But it just all of a sudden it jumped off the page at me that God was saying that the that because the Israelites had been in bondage for so many years, that they weren't tough enough to fight the Philistines. You know that's what that says there. God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. It was closer. It had been so much easier. For God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. He thought they'd they'd uh, flake out on him and they wouldn't uh, follow through. Isn't that something? Because he is a loving God and an understanding God, he said, you know, this is not the best way for them to go. He said, I'm going to send him. I'm going to have them travel 40 years to get to the land of Canaan. And, you know, and we do know it might have been sooner, but because of their sin, they got banned to go be uh, in the wilderness a little longer. But it's just, it was interesting to me. And then I started thinking, am I, am I tough enough for God? You know, does he trust me with everything? Am I someone that he says, you know what, I can count on Loretta. I know she'll be there for me. I know she'll do it. The Bible says in Psalm 94, 12, and 13, Blessed is man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teaches him out of thy law, that thou may, mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be dig for, digged for the wicked. So he says here, um, that thou may teach him, you know, he gives us adversity to teach us the law. And I thought, you know what, I guess it's good, the trials that I have. I guess, you know, on a daily basis, I have to trust God for something. In our faith-based ministry, I have to trust Him for something. I, it might be a small breakdown. It might be a large breakdown. It might be the health of one of our children. I'm praying really hard for one of our children that's got some uh, issues going with their back. And I'm thinking, you know, God, this person can't travel and do what you need them to do with back issues. Can you help them to you know fix it so I'm having to have faith to trust him and I I hope I'm tough enough for God and I wonder if you are you know the Bible says in 1st Corinthians 10 13 there hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it so when temptations when hard times come your way God will not suffer you to be a tempted above what you're able but let me ask you something how tough are you uh, my mind goes to my good friend uh, Francie Taylor who I think she's a really tough lady I think she walks with God I th know she knows God and she's going through a tough trial right now with her husband her dear husband having cancer and God said you know what Francie Taylor's tough enough to do it and I'm thankful that she is and I don't know when God's going to give me another big trial. But if he does, I hope that I will be tough enough to take it. And I hope you will too. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.